Hi, this is Tim. Today I'm going to show you how to set the IP address of an Allen Bradley Micrologix 1100 PLC. And we're going to be using our SIM IPE, the IP Explorer Professional. And to do it, you're going to plug the device directly into your PLC. Then we'll power it up. And on initial power up, you'll need to set the IP address of the device. So I plan on setting this to 192, 168, 110. So I'm going to set this to an IP address similar, but not the same. So I'm going to use 192, 168, 11. Then the default subnet of 255, 255, 255, 0 will work fine. And you can put a gateway address if you need it for your application. Now, whatever you put for the network mask and the gateway address will be transferred to the device. So now what we'll do is we're going to set a new target IP address. And it already has filled in the first three octets based off of what we configured this for. So it's 192.168.1. And all we need to do is set that fourth octet to 10, which is just what I want this PLC to be. Now we'll go back to the main menu and go to Assign IP Address. And we're going to use Boot P DHCP. And then we'll wait for it to request um, an IP address again, and it'll send it to it. Now, if, you're, if you've had yours powered up for more than a minute or so, it may quit making requests. Uh, most um, devices only make boot P or DHC requests for the first few minutes after power up, and then they stop. So if it's stuck on that waiting screen, just cycle the power to your device. Now we can go back and make sure that it has that IP address in it. So if we go back to our main menu, you can go to read unknown IP address. And there is its MAC, its IP. Also, we can tell that this is a 1763L16BBB, which is the part number of this Micrologix 1100 PLC. And that it's a Series B version 2.6 and its serial number. And that's it for this video. So like this video, comment below on what you would like to learn about. Till next time. Hi, this is Tim. And this is Amber of TW Controls. We run the automation store. Be sure to subscribe for more great videos. And like this video and comment on what you would like to see next. Visit our website where we offer a full line of PLCs, simulators, control panels, PLC trainers, and more.